Hi, I'm Viv from UE. I'm from the newly formed UE Learning 2020 group on Twitter. And this is just a quick introduction to Twitter for those of you that haven't used it before and want to get started. So what you will need is a valid email address. So if you go to twitter.com to create an account, um, it'll ask for your email details and then might, might send you a notification code to verify that you're a real person. So you can create an account and sign up. And I hope you use this guide in conjunction with some of the documentation we're pulling together to get you thinking about creating your online identity and what you want that to be. And it's really important you think about your Twitter name, um, any images, uh, and you know, creating that persona. You need to think about that up front to operate really sort of safely and effectively on the web. Okay, so you've created your account. If we go to Twitter, this is what it will look like. So we've literally just set up this UE 2020 group. You'll have this uh, space where your logo can go. At the blue stripe at the top, you can create yourself a banner, and then it'll just come up with recommendations and things of who to follow. And, and you can unfollow people anytime. So it's just dumped some sort of um, examples on there for us. So that's not terribly useful, but that's what your newly created space will look like. And you can customize that. And to customize that, if you cl click on that little icon there, so this is my own personal account, you can go to your account settings. It's really important you look through all the areas on this because it will give you different um, uh, ideas about different security settings, whether you want Twitter to notify you through your email account and, and lots of different things. So do do look through those settings to operate really uh, safely and in the way that you want to operate on Twitter. So if I go to my home, so this will take me to my space. And so this is what it looks like. So I've got some of my profile details there. And these are all the people that I'm following um, which will come up as new tweets appear down the middle. So how you can interact. So what you can do is if, if I like the post that Willem's just produced here, and I'm sure it's absolutely brilliant, it's about open education, I can reply to him. I can retweet it back to the community or I can like it. And when we like something, it's, it's quite useful because... Um, what that will do is sort of connect you with that person and in their notifications panel they will see you interacting with them. So that's how you interact really through these icons here. Um, at the top we've got our sort of main functions if you like. So I click there to go to my home and see all the people that I'm following. Moments well, that's just for news and things that are trending. I never find that terribly useful. I ignore that. Notifications. So these are people that have liked and interacted with me. So like I clicked on Willems and said I like that. So if, if people interact with me, it comes up here. And this is quite useful because this is people communicating back with you, sharing you things. So you see they're using my Twitter handle there in their tweets and communicating back with me. This is the Higher Education Academy in K. They've retweeted something that I've waffled on about. Um, and basically, that's how it works. If you want to communicate with someone discreetly and privately, you can use the message tab. And that's essentially it. So have a think about who you want to be online, creating um, a professional profile. Read some of the surrounding materials about not just getting started, but you can use Twitter really quite effectively with students and for your own professional capacity. I use it a lot for promoting um, my website, my research um, and just sharing sharing news with people. Um, so there you are, go and get started and let's see if we can find the UE Learning and Teaching Group again. Learning 2020, so watch this space.